everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we are going to take a look at the really cool foldable props on the Phantom. But not only the foldable props, the entire gamut of props for the Phantom that are new on the market from Master Air Screws. So they have low noise stealth props that are really, really cool. And you're going to see me uh, try them out in this video. Now, I have to warn you, it was extremely, extremely cold when I went out to do this video. And of course, everything went wrong because I took the Phantom, stuck it in my Jeep. I was outside, had to do some errands. So it sat in my Jeep for about an hour, you know, in the bed, in the cold. And uh, when I took it out, it did not want to cooperate at all. Check this out. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. You're probably wondering what happened to all the snow that was in the previous videos. Well, we had a rainstorm and uh, the snow melted, but the cold stuck around. It's minus eight degrees Celsius right now. That's what it is in Fahrenheit. And there's a wind blowing on my face. And I don't know, can you see it if I get close? My face is turning red because it's pretty darn cold out here right now. With the wind blowing, woohoo, it just takes the heat away from my body. So I'm out here today. I got to look down to what I'm picking up here. I've got these master air screw props for the Phantom 4, uh, the Phantom 4, the Phantom 4 Pro, and the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0. They will all fit on that drone. And master air screw is the company that makes props. You know, uh, if you ever want the best props on the market, you get them from master air screw. So they have them here for the Phantom and they come in different colors. They are orange, blue, and black, the ones that they sent me here. And they are low noise props. They call them stealth. So. The Phantom is noisy as it is. This here just brings the pitch of the prop down so it's a little bit less noisy. And yes, DJI does make low noise props for the Phantom. These are even lower, you know, just in pitch. So, but honestly, the Phantom is so freaking loud as it is. It doesn't really matter what you do to it. You can't sneak up on anybody with a Phantom. You'll hear that thing miles away. So I have these props to try out as long as the Phantom actually works in the cold and my face and body and hands don't freeze. But the ones I'm really interested in trying are these ones. Here, I got a black pair and a red pair. Little small the boxes, you know why? They're foldable, foldable props for the Phantom. Just like on a Mavic, yeah, you could fold up the props. So, so you can leave the props on when you stick it in a case like this. This is my backpack for the Phantom. And I always have to take the props off because you can't leave them on. But with the foldable ones, you can leave them on. That is awesome. All right, I think I'm frozen in this position. Never to move again, but uh, let's get on with this here. Show you, I'll show you the props. All right, I've moved to one side of my Jeep here to block the wind because it's so way too cold. All right, so let's open this up and take out my little Phantom. She's all set to go. See, can't put the props on it. That's the problem. So the foldable one should be pretty cool. All right. And I did bring the controller. This is the model with the integrated screen. The display's right there. All right, so let's open this bag. If you've never seen props by Master Air Screw, they put everything in a bag, which looks pretty sweet. Two bags, so we have black and white. Pretty smart. So in the box, they have a black bag and a white bag. The black bag means put the props in this bag onto the motors with the black dot and this one here put them on the motors without the black dot they also have in the box uh, a master air screw microfiber cloth little tiny one uh, they have some stickers right here and they have master air screw safety instructions right there Ooh, it's cold orange props this could be pretty sweet on here let's check this out so let's look for the black dots so let me just grab the GoPro and show you so right here you see that's uh, black and on this one here it's not black so these ones out of the black bag would go on this one all right so let's put you on goes on nice other black one over here now take the ones out of the white bag and you'll notice the white bag I'll show you right here they have a little white circle on top can you see that the white circle right there so Pretty easy to remember which ones go in the white bag. All right, so let's power this baby up and uh, let's see how she flies. I want to show you this. Check this out. This happens on DJI Phantoms when they're too cold. Look at that. The gimbal won't, <laughs> it won't stop doing that. The only way to fix it is just power it off, power it back on. That only happens on a Phantom when it's freaking cold out. All right, here's the Phantom with the orange props on. But guess what? It's too cold out here. There's a wind blowing and my microphone's not going to pick up anything. You're not going to hear any difference with these props uh, with the wind blowing. So I can't really show you that they're low noise. Other, the only thing I can show you is that, hey, look at that's what the props look like on the Phantom. So 
Well, due to that, uh, maybe I'll try to do it in my backyard at my house or in my house. So uh, let's see what happens. Watch this. All right, so I'm back indoors. So what was the problem with the Phantom? Well, it was the IMU. It happens to me ever since I bought this baby in 2016. If you take it out in the cold, the IMU goes bonkers. I have videos on my channel of it going bonkers many times. Sometimes I can get it to work just by putting my hand around everything down there and warming it up. But eh, I couldn't get it to work. It was just too cold and I really didn't have the time. Brought it back indoors, let it warm up for about a half hour and it's perfect. The only way to fix that problem on these old models is basically to do the IMU calibration in the cold in temperatures that are sub-zero, and then it knows what to do in sub-zero temperatures with the IMU when it starts up. But I didn't do that. So now what I'm gonna show you is the different colors of the master air screw props available for the Phantom. Now, these are stealth props, which means low noise. So not only do they look cool, they actually have a purpose. And will they actually save you flight time and are they better you know, better on your battery so you get more flight time. Master Air Screw will probably say yes because they say yes to that with all their props. I don't know because I fly erratically. When I fly a drone, I don't fly the same way twice, so I really can't tell if there's any savings. Um, do they increase the performance on your drone? Well, in my tiny little goldfish brain, sometimes I think yes, they do, because to me, sometimes it seems like Master Air Screw props, they cut corners a little bit better than, you know, DJI props that come with these uh, drones and Mavic or the Phantom or anything like that. So I'm a big fan of Master Air Screw props. Anyways, let me show you the colors they sent me. So right now they sent me blue, black, orange. Uh, the orange is pretty vibrant. My favorite is the blue though, but uh, I think the black is like, ooh, that's killer. And I have uh, red in the foldable ones and yeah, that's it. There's probably more on the website. I don't know, I haven't checked it out. But I'm gonna show you what the colors look like right now. So check this out. The colors look really good. And like I said, the black looks killer. The black on the white. DJI should really get black props for these drones. My, my personal preference, I do like the blue. The blue looks awesome. But the foldable props is the ones I'm going with. These are staying on the Phantom. This is revolutionary. And honestly, whenever DJI launches the Phantom 5, it will have foldable props because that's the way of the future. Everything's foldable. All right, so you're probably asking, hey, the foldable props look pretty cool. Do I just like uh, put them on just like the other ones? Or are they just quick release props like all these other ones? Well, yes, but you have to do something different to ensure they stay secure and don't go fling flying off on you. So they are quick release. You can remove them here. I'll get to the front here. They pop right on and pop right off. They have a little sprig underneath, but you have to install some hardware and they come with hardware in the box. You get some pieces of plastic, I'm probably showing you that now, which fit on the top and some springs and some screws and it's pretty simple. You just take off the existing hardware, put on the new hardware and you're all set. And uh, well, guess what? I have a video of me doing it when I put these ones on, so watch this. So have you made your mind up of what color you want to get? Well, as I said, there's another bonus to these. They are stealth props, low noise. Now, let me tell you something. The props that come with the Phantom, the white ones that we all have when you buy a Phantom, are noisy as heck. The Phantom is a noisy drone. Yes, let's all agree on that right now. So when DJI released it, it was noisy. And we all complained because we really didn't have, we didn't, well, we really didn't have drones out at that time, way back in 2016, that were quiet. The Mavic Pro had just come on the market. It didn't have low noise props, but it seemed quieter than this one. So uh, DJI was like, oh, we just developed something really cool. They're called low noise props. And these are them. So DJI made these props. 
low noise. They are very different looking and uh, they're pretty fat. And yeah, you know, did they, did they make the Phantom low noise? No, it did not because this is a beast. It's noisy as heck. So do the uh, stealth props by Master Airscrew make it low noise? No, they don't. What they do is they do like what you would expect, like the DJI one. They just take the pitch, which is really, really annoying and just drives you up the wall and they bring it down so it's more acceptable. So in other words, when you're flying this thing, people are not looking over going, what the hell is that? It's less of that because it's a lower pitch. And if you don't want to take my word for it, take your ears word for it because up here is a boom mic. I'm going to touch it. Hear that? That's a boom mic and that's so it captures my audio of my voice. And uh, I basically had that mic sitting there and I flew the phantoms right here in place, took a camera, that camera over there, put a zoom lens on it and zoomed right into the phantom. The phantom had to fly in this area and it did because the phantom's really good at flying indoors. I just let them fly, put different props on and I captured the sound with a boom mic and you're going to hear it. And I'm going to tell you right now, the best props were the Master Airscrew Stealth Props. These ones here had the lowest annoying noise to all of them. So, well, yeah, check it out. So there you have it. You can hear it with your own ears. Now, one thing I can tell you with my own eyes, since I was here in this room flying the Phantom, I can tell you the following. When I had the original props on that come with the drone and I hovered it in place, it was pretty stable. It stayed pretty darn stable because the props are really noisy and they don't push a lot of wind. And then when I put on these here props that DJI made, the DJI low noise props, well, this thing didn't like to hover as well in one spot. It was moving side to side and up and down because it's pushing wind off the walls, you know, the roof, the ceiling or whatever, the floor, me. Um, so yeah, it doesn't sit as stable when you put uh, the, these DJI props on. So it bounces around, um, but it doesn't bounce around a lot. It only bounces around like within like an inch or two. That's about it. And when I put the master air screw props on, the blue ones right here, um, it behaved identical to the original DJI props, which is it stayed perfectly in place, which is awesome. That's because these are quality props and they're all balanced, it stayed in place and you get the benefit of the lower pitch. So these are awesome to get. Now I should mention when I put on these, the props I love the most, the foldable ones, well, you can imagine it's kind of hard to balance foldable props and get them perfect because you can move them all over the place. And when they're spinning, they just might not be at the right angle. Um, it kind of behaved a little bit like the DJI low noise props, except without the low noise. I found these ones here to be a little higher in pitch than uh, these ones here by Master Airscrew. So the foldable props by Master Airscrew have a little higher pitch than uh, the non-foldable ones right here, at least to my ears. And for flying, uh, these ones, since they're, you know, foldable, they push a lot of air as well. And foldable props, any drone you have on the market by DJI, all the Mavics, they have difficulty staying perfectly still in the air because foldable props do not allow for that. And these are no different. So this moved a little bit, you know, an inch or two, but other than that, it's perfectly fine. You can fly it indoors as I did. I flew it around outdoors in my backyard and my front yard, and it flies just like a phantom with the foldable props on. They're, they're perfectly fine. So with all of that said, I'm sticking with the foldable props. Even though they're not as quiet as the non-foldable ones by Master Airscrew, they are so freaking convenient. This is, this is the way of the future, foldable props for everything. So um, yeah, I wish they would make foldable props for my Inspire 2 that were really good because the Inspire is a pain in the butt putting the props on and off. I know you're probably sitting there going, oh, poor guy, he's got to put the props on and off. But honestly, when you're used to drones that all have foldable props and foldable arms, and this has no foldable arms, but it's so nice to have the foldable props because I just pull it out of the bag, plop, plop it down, power it on, and I'm all set to go. It's, it's really convenient. All right. I am going to put links to all of this stuff below this video. Check below 
the video in the description box and you'll see uh, it'll take you right to Master Airscrew. They always do a lot of tests on their props because they don't release anything like really quick. They take months and months and months to test and to redesign and test and redesign before they release a prop because that's their specialty. That's why their props are not like penny props. They're actually really good props, the best on the market. So links are below to that. If you have questions about the props, check their website because they put all the information on there. You can ask me as well. I'll get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have um, any other comments, post them below and tell me what you think. All right, guys, catch you in the next video. Bye.